Here's how you set up robot dog drums to work with an electronic drum kit. First thing you might want to do is change the MIDI channel to Omni. MIDI is split up into several channels and usually drums are on 10, but if you want to just make sure that it's going to receive MIDI from any channel, no matter what your module is set to, just set that to Omni. And if you don't see that, you might be on the snapshots panel. So just click on this I for info panel and you can adjust that right there. You can go to the setup page and you can choose a setup preset. Now, right now there's only a preset for Roland V drums, but as more people test robot dog drums with other kits, we'll be adding other presets. So if you have a Roland kit, you can start with that Roland preset or you can clear all the settings and start from scratch. So let's do that just in case you have a different kit or you want to just set up everything exactly the way you want it. So you can start configuring on this setup page or you can go back to the kit page, start with the kick drum here, click on it to make it active and hit the learn button and hit your kick trigger. All right, so that maps the kick trigger to that first slot right there. Click on the snare. Hit the learn button. Now with the snare drum, you probably also want to program in the rim shot sound. So hit the side of the drum here. That selects the rim shot. Hit learn, then hit your rim shot carefully. Now we have the snare and rim shot sound. Perfect. There's also the side stick sound. You can get that in if you want. You might notice there are these two slots here, and those are very helpful for cymbals and toms. So we'll map this cymbal to one of my cymbal pads. And the thing is, uh, cymbal pads have a bow and an edge trigger. Sometimes they have a bell trigger too, but we only want to trigger one sample from the bow or the edge. So let's get those both mapped for this crash symbol. Select the crash symbol and hit learn. Do the bow sound. There it is. Now click on this other slot, hit learn and do the edge sound. There, we got them. So now no matter where you hit on this symbol pad, you'll get that crash two sound. Sometimes you have the tom head sound and the tom rim sound, so you might want to map those the same way. Hit the tom, hit learn, hit the head, and then also get the rim. Just in case you accidentally hit that drum on the rim, or it, tri or, or it accidentally triggers on the rim, you'll still get a tom sound. So just like that, you can go in and you can set up all the drums and cymbals. Let's get the hi-hat set up go into the setup page. Let's learn the hi-hat tip and edge. All right, here's tip, hit learn. Here's edge, learn that. Got it. All right. So you might not know what the hi-hat CC number is. Let's pretend this was set to zero. So you can hit learn and then just step on your hi-hat pedal. All right, so it learns that it's uh, CC number four, so that's in there. Now, um, some different brands of hi-hat pedals, um, you might need to reverse the action. This one looks like it's right, because when you press down on the pedal, you can see this uh, little meter here goes up and down. That's tightly closed, that's fully open, so that's correct. But if it was going in the opposite direction, you just hit this invert button, and that makes it do the opposite. All right, so we'll deselect that. Now we can see that it's functioning as it should. Pedal open, kind of medium pressure is closed, and then it's tight. You can see it's uh, working right.
If you did want to adjust those, you could, like if you kind of like an open feeling with the, without such a range of motion on the pedal, you could bring open down here, then all this is going to be open. Or if you are getting this range going the complete the full length of this meter you could put tight down here you could put closed here whatever feels right to you i'm just going to leave it on the default it works with my module we've got fully tight all the way down we got closed and then we have open and then everything in between all right another important thing to get configured on the hi-hat is the hi-hat foot stamp sound right down here so we'll hit learn and we'll there stamp on the pedal so once you have that configured, you can turn on this auto foot splash button and that will create a foot splash sound when you stamp on the pedal really quick and then pull your foot off real quick. There it is. If you want to make it easier to activate that foot splash sound, you just turn the sensitivity up. And if you want to make them come across louder, just turn the volume of that up. All right, so that brings us to positional sensing on the snare drum. You can turn it on and off here. It's set up default to work well with a roll and digital snare. Um, but for my snare, you'll see it's configured a little bit differently. But anyway, you hit the, the snare drum and you get some feedback um, in magenta and pink here as to where it's reading the position of the snare drum. All right, there's center. There's the edge. You can see as you hit it. It's tracking pretty well. Now, um, like I said, this is set up for a roll and digital snare. But um, my snare here actually might work a little better like this. Hit the center. So you get a nice solid center sound. And you get the very far edge sound right here. How you might want to configure this is keep a large area for your center sound. And then have your edge sounds start, I don't know, I like to maybe have them start about here. Which it's set up pretty well for that. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. But if you needed to adjust that, adjust the center range right here. If you add it all the way out here, you'll be getting lots of center no matter where you hit it. And then if you really want to get to that edge sound, maybe bring the edge all the way out there. Now you have that range of variation is very far out toward the edge on this drum. You can still get there, but most of your hits are gonna be center. I like to put it back where it was for a little bit more range of expression here. It's fun to play on. All right, so that's generally how it works. Um, the cymbal chokes are set up to work automatically for rolling um, modules and pads. Once you've configured all this, you might want to save those settings. So go to the preset menu and go to save current settings to file. Then you can name them something, save them somewhere. Later, you can go to load settings from file to pull those settings back up. Okay, here's one other thing. If you want to get into the Tom rim shot and tom rim sounds you can hit this little disclosure triangle you can get there and you can configure those to your tom rims and rim shots if you have that ability in your module all right well that's about it for setting up your electronic drum kit for robot dog drums if you have any questions hit me up and i'll do my best to solve them anyway have fun playing on your electronic kit and i'll see you next time